The project goal is to explore a less expensive and more flexible method of launching a satellite into low Earth orbit, in this case using a C-17 Globemaster III. In the process of conducting these tests, the capabilities of the aircraft were expanded. Airdrop test engineer Chris Weber is the test project engineer for the Falcon Small Launch Vehicle Program. He says the program has given him more insight into the C-17's operational capability. The aircraft has got the, the performance capability to exceed what its current flight manual limitations uh, limit it to in the operational world. We can drop heavier items. We can drop them successfully from higher altitude. This recent test was the airdrop of a 65-foot, 72,000-pound mock-up booster rocket at an altitude of 32,000 feet, the longest and heaviest single item ever dropped from a C-17. While the tests were successful, the program wasn't without its challenges. Programs in the past which have dropped rockets have put them on flat pallets similar to other types of heavy equipment airdrop. And for the sake of simplicity, uh, less hardware dropped out of the aircraft and so forth, uh, this project was not using that technical approach. They designed a roller system which stays in the aircraft and has the rollers arranged to fit a round rocket body. And um, it, it's a different type of technical approach. That way you've got a stabilization parachute and you've got a rocket and then you don't have this pallet system that then has to be staged and separated safely from the rocket after it's been dropped and it's in free fall because that's a fairly technically complex thing to achieve. Other programs have done it. Uh, but again, this is intended to be a relatively low cost way of putting satellites in orbit. Lieutenant Colonel Dan Fritz, the test pilot who flew the mission, enjoyed the opportunity to push the C-17 envelope. It's, it's exciting because we do get to do that. That's one of the things that we do here at Edwards very well is push the envelope of different aircraft. And uh, the chance to be involved with that, uh, just like in all of our flight tests here, it's, it's, it's very exciting. It's very uh, gratifying to know that we're part of giving more capability to the folks that fight the wars overseas. The program is a joint effort between the Air Force, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, Air Launch LLC, and other private firms. Christopher Ball, Edwards Air Force Base, California.